Welcome everybody to John Ski Writes. I'm your host John Ski and today, cracking video in my opinion. Everyone knows I love Pokemon, so we're going to jump straight into it. Seven people who remind me of Pokemon. So this could be people that remind me because of the way they look, because of the way they act. Um, I'm basing this on the computer games. Let's just get started then and we're going to start with my wife. So Caitlin reminds me of Snorlax. Likes to sleep and she likes to eat. And her nephew Alfie actually calls her Auntie Snorlax. Um, I might have put him up to that, but he actually calls her Auntie Snorlax because she eats, because she sleeps. And she's a big cuddly teddy bear. She likes a cuddle. She's always like, oh, give you a cuddle. So she is a Snorlax. She likes to sleep, you know, and she likes to eat. Snorlax learns a move called yawn. She's always yawning because she's always tired. She sleeps more than most people I know, but she's always tired. So there you go. Start off with, we'll get it out of the way, as she knows about it anyway. My wife reminds me of Snorlax. Sticking with her family then, next one we're going to go to is her brother, Gavin. Now, Gavin knows someone else who's in this video later, and he was like, yeah, do it, it'll be hilarious. But he didn't know he was going to be in this video as well. So Gavin, you're next. Now Gavin did this a few weeks ago. I'm gonna put this up on the screen first, just on its own. There we go. Gavin did this a few weeks ago. Um, he gave himself a little tash when he had a shave. And so I couldn't resist. This is based purely on that tash. It's not based on any actions or him looking generally like this. This is just based on the tash. Gavin could look like anyone on this screen. They've all got mustaches. And there's so many more that I didn't put up as well, like Alakazam, for instance. Probo Pass, got a little little tash under his big nose. Um, but I'm gonna go with this one. So me and my wife discussed it, and it's her brother, so I let her have the final save. And that's my YouTube channel, and her brother Gavin is gonna be Celio. He could have been any one number of these, like I said, because of the tash, but he's Celio. So Gavin, thanks for the tash. Thanks for being in the video. Next up is his charming partner, Steph. Now we have two Stephs in this family, and they get called Big Steph, Little Steph. They argue about who's number one Steph, who's number two Steph. So this is his partner, Steph. And she reminds me of Jinx. Now, <laughs> I just saw this and I was like, if Jinx had dark hair, this would be Steph. So she pulls her face. So it reminds me of Jinx. Sorry, Steph, I had to include that. It makes me laugh. Um, we love you, but... Yeah, your jinx. Number three is Caitlin's sister, Kerry. So Caitlin, this was Caitlin's idea. Kerry, not mine. I was like, should I put Kerry in the video? Does any Pokemon drink Iron Brew profusely like you do? And she said, put a cow Pokemon in there. I was like, there's Miltank. So here you are, you are Miltank because we're gonna mix Pokemon and Disney here. You are Miltank because Kerry, everybody knows you dishonor your cow. Bad Kerry, dishonor your cow. So because you dishonor your cow, Kerry, you are Miltank, the cow Pokemon. Moving on to Steph. So the second Steph is someone you may have seen before and you may recognize her. She was the one who actually dyed my uh, facial hair pink for me. And she is actually gonna be Shuckle. Now she's probably looking at this and looking at the picture of Shuckle thinking, why the hell am I Shuckle? So I'm gonna explain. Shuckle gets moves, Helping Hand and Sunny Day. I don't know any other Pokemon get these moves, but they have to be on Shuckle because Steph is Shuckle for these reasons. When we first moved to Aberdeenshire, Steph was very, very, very helpful to us. She helped us find our new apartment. She offered to help put us up until we find our first house up here, um, which she obviously then did help us find. And Sunny Day gets a move called Sunny Day. Steph hates the cold. She hates the winter. She hates the rain. She refuses to go out of her house when it's too cold. Sunny day, loves the sun, helping hand. She helped us out a lot when we moved up here. And of course, she has the ability contrary. So Steph, you're always asking for advice and always saying like, what would you do? Or what do you think about this? But then when you give her the advice, she does the complete opposite. Just like Shuckle's ability contrary, you try and lower its stats, it does the opposite and it raises them. Contrary to what we say, you always do the opposite. You help in hand, your sunny day. And of course, Shuckle, to finish it all off, is only two feet tall, which is exactly the same height as Steph. 
Steph is Shuckle. So just a couple more then, we're nearly done. Next up is David. David Brettsmith, my friend who you know from Brettsmith's Life Advice. Now this could easily have been Smeargle as uh, I was tempting to do this because he hates Smeargle. Smeargle's here now. There we are. Could easily have been Smeargle because he hates Smeargle. Um, I remember when I was at Liverpool at a Pokemon tournament actually a few years ago, Nathan was playing Smeargle sounds through a loudspeaker underneath the toilet door while he was having a poop. And he was getting really good with it because all he could hear was Smeargle noises. He hates Smeargle, so it could have been that, but I thought that's too easy. Then it could also have been Sunken. Here's Sunken. It could also have been Sunken because our friend Jonesy jokes and winds him up about how that's his favourite Pokemon all the time. But my wife has a nickname for Dave because he's short in stature and she calls him Small Fry. So I had a look on uh, the Pokemon um, database and Wishy Washy is the Small Fry Pokemon. It's also kind of ironic because it's a fish and it's a good swimmer and Dave can't swim for toffee. He's a very bad swimmer. So Small Fry Dave, thanks to my wife, Caitlin, you are Wishy Washy. Welcome to Brett Smith's Life Advice. Today is all about eating healthy. You must eat your five a day, and if you want extra calcium, drink extra milk. Just like Jonesy. Bye, have fun, see you next week. And we're going to end on a cute one then. The last one uh, in the video is my nephew Ahmed. Now, he doesn't remind me of any actions, although they are both little monkeys. Um, but I just think he actually looks like him a little bit. Uh, my wife disagrees with me, but I really genuinely think when he smiles, especially when he like he had a tooth missing and whatnot, this genuinely looks like him. So this is my nephew Ahmed, and this is who I think he looks like, Chimchar. I'll put them both on the screen together. You tell me what you think. Do they look alike? I think he looks like him. I think he's a little cute monkey, just like Chimchar. And so, Ahmed, you are Chimchar. So that's it for today's video then. I hope you liked the people I thought were Pokemon. I'll probably do another video like this again in the future because I really enjoyed looking it up and, and having a laugh. Um, so I hope you guys agreed. Do you know anyone that reminds you of a Pokemon based on where they act or, or, or how they look? And if you do, put it in the comments below, let me know. Do you think I remind you of any Pokemon? I have actually said about Gavin being Provopass because of the Tash, but uh, my friends actually told me in the past that I look a bit like Propass because of the giant nose. I don't see it. So thank you once again for joining us. Uh, have a good week. We'll see you on the next one on Friday. And goodbye from me. Goodbye from Brett Smith. Goodbye from everyone at John Ski Rides. Peace.